Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to discuss the question 11 of the JAM 2022 paper. So we have to pred predict the major product formed in the following reaction. This is the reaction. So here you can see this is a question mixed of two important chapters. One is stereochemistry. Okay, and another is organic reaction mechanisms. And let us see how we will use both these uh, concepts from both these chapters for solving this question. Okay, so first from this reaction, you can see OTS is what? OTS is a very good living group. It is a very good living group. Why it is a very good living group? What is the structure of OTS? O, O, T, S means tosylate. Okay, tosylate means sulfonate ion and at the para position we have CH3. That means this is the toluene ring plus it is a part of sulfonic acid. What is sulfonic acid? Sulfonic acid is benzene and SO3H. This is sulfonic acid. So that is why it is called toluene plus sulfonic acid that is this is called as this group is called as tosylate. It's a very good living group. Okay, so from this we can come to know it is which type of reaction? Cn minus is a nucleophile. So this is going to be a nucleophilic substitution. Okay, now it is going to be Sn1 or Sn2 that we have to see. Okay, if I remove OTS, okay, if I remove OTS, what I will get? pH, Me, H. And I will get a carbocation, hydrogen and carbon. Now you can see this carbocation, okay, this carbon is attached to two other carbons. Okay, here there is CH3, okay, two other carbons, so it is a secondary carbocation. So in secondary carbocation, there is equal probability of formation via <coughs> SN2 and SN1. But here, since carbocation formed is not very stable, we will follow which mechanism we will follow SN2 mechanism. Okay, now the first step is we can eliminate the options. How? This center, this chiral center, okay, here the stereochemistry will not change. That will, it will remain. Me should be at the left. Hydrogen should be at the right. Now, if we see the options, here the stereochemistry is changed. So, option A is incorrect. Okay, second one, if we see Me on the left, hydrogen on the right, this can be the correct answer. Option C, okay, option C, what we have to do, we have to rotate. Okay, we have to rotate and check what we will get. Okay, pH is on the top, so we will bring pH on the top. Methyl will come here and hydrogen will go here. So what I will get? I will get pH on the top, so pH. Here I get Me and H. So again, you can see, Me and H both are same. So this can also be correct answer. Last one, if you see, okay, this one again I can rotate. pH I can bring here, Me here and H here. So what I will get? pH, then H has gone to the left and Me which was on the top will come on the right. So here you can see it is H Me. So here also stereochemistry is changed. So in this way you can eliminate two options even before solving the question. Now let us solve the question. So what is the rea uh, reactant? Let us first draw that. pH, MEH, pH, Me, H, H, OTS, and here we have CH3, that is methyl. Okay. So now, okay, instead of CH3, they have written Me. Okay, so we will write Me. We are reacting with NaCN. We know this is a SN2 mechanism as we had discussed right now because the carbocation formed is not very stable. So we will follow which mechanism? SN2 mechanism. So before uh, so un undergoing the SN2 mechanism, what we have to do? We have to convert this Fischer projection formula to wedge dash so that it becomes easier for us to uh, easier for us to understand the stereochemistry. So what we will do, we will rotate this molecule slightly. Okay, normally 
how does a fisher projection look the horizontal bonds are coming the groups are coming towards us and the vertical bond is going away from us like this Right now, what we have to do, we have to convert this into wedge dash. So we will rotate this slightly. So what will happen? Hydrogen and OTS will go to the back, and methyl and hydrogen will remain at the front, or this will remain at the top, and these two groups will go uh, below the plane. So how will it look? Okay, pH. Let me number one, two, three, and four. This is one. Okay, pH is a substituent, so we will start numbering from the next carbon. One, two, and three. pH, then carbon one. Here you can see methyl will remain at the top, and on the dash bond we will have hydrogen. Then at the third carbon, at the second carbon, we have hydrogen will remain at the top. And OTS will go at the bottom, and that is below the plane. And Me, that is third carbon. Now, how the CN will attack? We have seen just now it is going to be SN2 mechanism. So CN minus will attack from the opposite side of the leaving group. So leaving group leaves from the back, and CN minus will attack from the top. Okay, so what we will get? The product that we will get is. pH this remains as it is me on the top hydrogen below the plane and here now cn will be cn will be above the plane and hydrogen will go below the plane okay this is the final product and this we have to convert it into fisher so we will again rotate this slightly to the left so that what will happen the methyl hydrogen which is at the back will also come at the front so what is the final product ph here we have me okay methyl will remain at the left hydrogen at the right cn at the left and hydrogen at the right this is the final product now let us see which is the correct answer cn should be at the left and hydrogen at the right we have already eliminated two options right a and d are incorrect okay a and d are incorrect now we want cn at the left so you can see this is the correct stereochemistry h cn this is not the correct answer now this how we can match with the product that we have drawn we have drawn we have to rotate this okay what they have done they have kept methyl at the They have kept methyl at the top, so methyl will come here, pH will come here, and hydrogen will come here. What we will get? I'm drawing here. Okay, what is going to be the final product? pH will come at the right, methyl at the top, hydrogen at the left, cyanide, hydrogen, Me. So this is the final product as you can see. So what is the correct answer for this question? the correct answer is option c so this is a very good question it also checks your knowledge on stereochemistry as well as the sn2 mechanism i hope this answered your question thank you